Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's start our new campaign in Europa Universalis 4. The Cossacks and uh, all kinds of other DLC. What do we got? We, what, 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 what do we got? We got uh, 100 Years, War, Unit Pack, American Dream, Art of War, Buddhist Unit Pack. Look, look, at, look at all this stuff. Got lots of stuff. Alright, start a new campaign. This is going to be the Holy Trinity. Uh, and so what that is, is an achievement that you can earn as the Papal State, where you need to get the Teutons, the Livonian Order, and uh, the Knights, I believe it is. Let me just confirm that real quick. I want to make sure that uh, that is what we're trying to do. Holy Trinity. Yeah, Jerusalem. Oh, it's Jerus own Jerusalem and have... Yes, okay, so we need to own Jerusalem as well. And we need to make the Livonian Order, the Teutonic Order, and the Knights into marches, not just vassals. So that's pretty cool. Um, and at the same time, you know what? We might even become like a colonial papal state. Why not? So we're going to play as the papal state. We are Pope Eugenius the fourth sometimes i always have to when it's the when it's the v i gotta like mentally do the math like, is it is it before it or after it you know whatever pope eugenius is uh, not very good e eugenius yeah that's how i pronounce it probably he's he's a one one two uh papal ideas are extra diplomatic reputation that's pretty sweet religious unity is pretty good uh we got tolerance of the true faith nice national tax modifier plus 20 wow that's pretty good yearly prestige plus one's pretty good time to fabricate pretty good but it's okay 10% production efficiency, prestige decay, kind of works well with the uh, yearly prestige plus one. So we're going to be very prestigious, and that's pretty good too. And then finally, at the, the very end, like halfway through the game, we'll get uh, discipline plus five. That's pretty neat. We do start off with uh, Urbino as a vassal, and uh, let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to play uh, with all this stuff. Let's see, what do we want? Yeah, we'll just leave all the settings on normal. I don't really see any major reason. Do we want to do random new world? Let's not this time. Let's leave it normal. And we'll make it an Iron Man campaign. We'll call it uh, Holy Trinity, of course. And uh, let's see if we can remember how to play E4. It's been about uh, it's about ten a day. It's been about ten days since my last uh, my last drink, my last game, uh, whatever you call it. Yeah, I've been gone. I had a vacation. Uh, it didn't. It was good. It was a good vacation, but uh, unfortunately, it was one of those vacations where I came back sick, uh, which sucks. So uh, we'll protect trade with the entire thing. Now, I don't know how this is sorting this anymore. Um, I think it actually does remember uh, your order and stuff now. Like, I think it's remembering that for me. Wow, we have four diplomats? What the hell? How do we have four diplomats? Let's see if we can figure that out. So, our government rank is currently... Uh, diplomats plus one, national focus minus five. So we are considered, it looks like, to be a, uh, yeah, a kingdom rank. So we get a free diplomat from that. And, uh, that's pretty swell. Wow. So our government type gives us tolerance of the true faith plus one as well. And, uh, monthly autonomy change minus 0.1. That's really good. And we have yearly prestige. So we're going to be so, so flippin' prestigious and tolerant. Look at this. Yearly prestige plus one. Tolerance of the true faith plus two. That puts our tolerance at plus five already. We have devotion, which is a fantastic mechanic. I love it. Okay, so that's, that's actually where it's coming from. Yeah, that's good. No, that's good. I like that. Uh, what what can we do with our papal influence? We can't click the buttons. That's unfortunate. Looks like we just try to become the papal controller. You know, we just spend all of our points on becoming the Curia controller. There's probably not uh, an auto invest button, which is rather unfortunate. But if we do become the Curia controller, which we will invariably become occasionally, we'll get a massive reduction to aggressive expansion impact. We'll get uh, another diplomat, which is nice. Even more prestige, cheaper advisors, more advisors, cheaper tech, an extra leader. All that stuff. Right now, if anyone were to die, we would become the papal controller since no one has invested anything. So by by default, we will always... I think by default, don't we actually... No, we don't get any points towards it. At least just because no one else has spent anything. So someone will spend some money soon. Alright, so how's our income look? Two ducats a month with our full army. Our army is composed of eight and two. Our force limit is 14. We're probably going to go... Another four infantry, if I had to guess. We are not quite at the manpower cap, so it's not essential that we do that just yet. So I'd probably prefer to knock out a couple boats first. Uh, so we'll go here and here. And uh, we actually started off with a fair bit of money, too. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I suppose we'll queue up the infantry now as well, since we have all that money. As far as advisors go, uh, you know what? Let's actually cancel two of the infantry so that we can hire an advisor. A disciplined guy be pretty swell. Uh, discipline or morale? They're both pretty good. I had to pick... I had to pick... 
Well, let's see, who hates us? Hungary hates us, as does Provence, and Savoy. Alright. Well, you're kind of far away. Uh, who are our possible rivals? We could rival a lot of different people. We could rival France. No. Uh, we can rival... Okay, so let's see. It's going to be the Imperial map mode that determines where we go first. We already have Urbino as a vassal. So basically, we have everyone except uh, well, Venice and Naples are really the only options. If we don't want to attack into the Empire. Unless the, uh, the Emperor wants to become buddies with us. Are we currently the Curia Controller? Yeah, we are. Okay, so we're already the Curia Controller. That's part of the reason why we have so many freaking diplomats. Gotcha. Well, that's nice that it lets us start off as the Curia, as the, uh, the Curia guy. Okay, so... I don't know. You know, we want Naples to break free. Um, Aragon is currently neutral. Castile's neutral. I mean, I'd probably prefer to pick up an alliance with uh, Castile. And then use Castile to help me attack Naples, having them kill Aragon for me. I could easily beat Naples. So that's probably where we want one diplomat to go. We do probably want to become buddies with the Emperor. Um, although he's still going to... Well, hold on. No matter what, if I attack the Empire, you cannot declare war anymore on a prince if you are allied with the Emperor in another war. So I can't do that little kind of exploit where like, I attack Naples with Austria's help and then while I'm doing that, eat Siena. So no, we'll just have to fight the Emperor if we want to make that happen. Accumulate money. Incorporate Urbino. Reclaim Ferrara. So we could get uh, free claim on Ferrara. Which again would put us at war with Austria. Who would definitely join. And Austria is quite strong right now. Austria's got 36,000 troops. We're not strong enough to beat that, I don't think. When are we allowed to integrate Urbino? They have technically been a vassal since 1443. So about a year ago. Uh, it's it's almost been two years. It's been like 20, 22 months so far. So it'll be a while till we can integrate them. Let's improve with them. We don't want to take the mission to incorporate them, because that's going to take quite a while. Although the diplomatic reputation would be nice. Uh, accumulate money. No, I think we don't take either or any of these missions just yet. I think we want to hire... A... Most of our income is coming from taxation. I think we want the national tax modifier guy. And I think we want the morale guy. Morale over discipline, I think. Alright, so we're not going to worry about improving relations with Austria, actually. Instead, we will improve relations with uh, the big guys nearby. Now, part of the achievement, right, requires that you have these guys up here as marches. And if you don't act quickly, uh, 50 years after the Teutonic Order loses all of its land, all of the cores will disappear. Uh, they will expire. So you have to do it fast enough that you can actually get up there and, and you know, bring their cores back. So Poland, like, I think we want to probably improve relations with the Teutons and ally them just straight up so that we can be involved in the wars that are invariably going to happen against them. The Teutons in particular, as well as the Knights. Like, we can't let the Knights die. We do not need full maintenance right now, since there's really no chance of us going to war. We're making pretty good income without our maintenance up. So, it's been eight minutes. Nothing's happened yet. That's fine. Uh, the Livonians and the these guys. So, negative 20 reasons. They consider us to be neutral. Why don't we manually set them to friendly? And we'll do the same thing with the knights. Just to make sure that they know... They know that we're looking out for them, you know? We're friendly. We like you guys. Now, there's been a number of comments um, over the last week or so that I've been gone, and uh, a lot of people have been asking for me to, like, explain more about what I'm trying to do and how to, you know, what my reasoning for what I'm doing. So I'll do my best to, uh, to additionally commentate on that kind of stuff. Urbino. Like, like, why do we want to... Why do we want to friendly? Why, why make them friendly? Um, I don't know. You know, my, my hope is that by setting them manually to friendly, they're more likely to be friendly toward us, which will take them off of the neutral attitude, which will allow us to get the alliance right now. They're going to be quite weak, but the sooner we become allies with them, I think the sooner it's just, it's just better. We'll be able to be involved in whatever's going on up there. Now, if Austria gets involved with the war of France or something, then we will definitely attack over Ferrara. Ferrara currently is just allied with uh, nobody. 
I mean, if we could if we could do that, just beat Austria, that'd be sweet. Unfortunately, he's allied to Hungary, the Platinate in England now. Harold from Naples. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, do best guess again. Alright, it had already done that for me. Thank you, game. We'll play on speed 3 for the most part. I don't really feel too much of a reason to rush. We'll go all the way down to no maintenance. We do have two forts, Roma and Avign Avignon. Uh, is that currently enough to allow us to have the full benefit of army tradition? Yes, it is. So it's plus one. That's pretty good. I think that's worthwhile to keep those forts active. Probably mid-game we're going to get rid of our forts because forts are stupid. Um, and they serve almost no purpose. <laughs> but, except for it to cost you money. Um, the army tradition that you get from them is just not significant enough. It costs far too large, in my mind, uh, of a percentage of your overall income to have enough forts to get the army tradition from them. So I'd rather just delete them, usually. So do we not generate papal influence? The Pope does not get papal influence or cardinals, but instead gains investment towards becoming papal controller based on the number of total number of cardinals. Oh, okay. All right. I guess I guess we don't even worry about that then. So what is, what is it, when it says up here? You get like yearly papal influence. It doesn't do anything for us, I guess. That's unfortunate. All right. So the successor of Wadislaw the third. We need a Jigalian. And they formed their PU over Lithuania. Which means that the Teutons don't have long for this world. Denmark has rivaled Austria. So it's rather unfortunate. Who hates Poland? We need somebody to offset the Polish. Uh, they've rivaled Bohemia, Denmark. So people who have rivaled him would be Bohemia. Bohemia is not going to be able to stand up against Poland and Lithuania. There's just no way. Muscovy is too far away for me to ever get involved with them. I mean, Bohemia, maybe, is going to have to become our ally. The problem is that we already have one relationship slot tied up with Urbino. Uh, let's see. I mean, I think we have to rival Aragon. Because we need, we need Naples. I think we have to rival... And I'm assuming, of course, that... Yeah, you've rivaled... Yeah, of course Castile's rivaled Aragon. So they should become very friendly. Um, they should stop being neutral fairly soon. They should become friendly. And hopefully we can pick up a claim on Naples. Unfortunately, I, I can't rival Naples because they are a... They are a subject. I suppose we do rival Ferrara and Florence? Right now? No one else really is appealing to me? Um, unfortunately, it might cause them to pick up more allies, you know, like, from being scared of me. So maybe it may have been better to do it right as we, right as we intended to attack them. Conquer Modena. Modena. It does border us. Again, it's another claim on here that puts us to war with Austria. What if we allied Bohemia? Do you think Bohemia could beat Austria? I doubt it. 14k versus 34k. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty unlikely. Who else hates Austria, though? Aragon does, naturally. The Ottomans... <laughs> what? The Ottomans would accept an alliance. Friendly attitude toward us. Wow. Well, if we fought Austria, Hungary would be involved in the war, meaning that the Ottomans would have military access to Austria's capital. Could we actually use the infidel? Could, could we do it? Could, could we be part of such an unholy alliance as this and force the Ottomans into de beating up the HRE? I don't think we're supposed to do that. I think we should do it. <laughs> that just seems like fun. Uh, they have 24k troops. They are... Uh, actually, they start the game off with slightly higher tech. Well, it's the same tech, but they have slightly slightly better pips than Western. So the Ottoman tech group actually has some special units, and uh, they're pretty good at the start. Now, could could the Ottomans alone beat Austria? I don't think so. If we allied Bohemia, maybe. I think we need to become friends with Bohemia simply so that we can try to use them against Poland. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking that we go that direction. The problem is that uh, the Ottomans have no claims or cores, so I can't call them into a war against Austria uh, unless I use favors. 
Oh, hey, our guy died. Awesome. We now have a 544. Uh, and because we have devotion, we don't have to worry about stability hits, which is great. Um, I'm glad that Pope Eugenius died. Our guy right now is 56. He's 544. I don't think we're going to make him into a leader because he's uh, he's so good. Unfortunately, we did not get a pop-up to like choose our heir like the normal theocracy mechanic would be. It's just It looks like it's just random, which is unfortunate. Alliance offer from Siena. Ha ha. Very funny. Uh, I think we jump on this alliance. And the Castilian alliance is more important to me than the French alliance, so... This is, this is just weird. Crimea has declared war on Theodoro. Of course they have. We've got our alliance with the Ottomans. Okay. The Teutons are still not willing to accept an alliance. Um... And so, yeah, looking at this, the Ottomans would not accept because they don't owe us favors. And we can't promise them territory or anything because they don't have any land that they can claim. So they've rivaled them for, like, virtually no reason at all. Uh, let's see. I mean, as long as we're generating favors with them over time, we gain a favor every three years. So in 30 years, we could call them into a war against Austria. Whatever. It's fine. I'm still hoping that Castile will quickly become friendly. They haven't rivaled the Ottomans yet. They usually don't at the start of the game. That's the only reason that this could potentially work. Liber... Libertas Ecclesia. The clergy has long been one of the foremost pillars of the papal realm, providing not only spiritual guidance, but also administrators, judges, and diplomats for the benefit of our Pope. In return for these great services, no ecclesiastical manor, manor monastery, or other state pay any taxes to the state, and the... Temporal authorities do not meddle in the internal affairs of the clergy. Times grow dire, however, and the state has to cover an increasing number of expenses. Suggestions that perhaps the clergy might make a voluntary contribution have not been favorably received. Lose papal influence. Well, we don't care about papal influence. Uh, so we can harm the clergy and gain 32 ducats, or just gain loyalty permanently and have them gain a little bit of influence. Well, that seems fine. Uh, well, actually, they're already at 68%. That's pretty high. Papal states. Huh. That is a lot of stuff. Alright, seems fine. I mean, we get a bunch of extra stuff. Again, more papal influence that doesn't matter. Stability costs, yearly devotion. The devotion's gonna be nice. Just to keeping that high if we ever lose any. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't think we need the money. Okay, um, so Bohemia. Bohemia Castile, I think, are our next two allies. Also, although we also want to, to do this, this two-tone thing, so there's lots to be done. Let's improve with Bohemia. Um, let's keep working on Urbino. Our missions are not really giving us... You know, improve relations with Siena. Some more diplomatic reputation. It's pretty easy to do that, actually. Might work. We have years and years until we need to worry about uh, Urbino. Sure, we'll take that mission for the, the diplomatic reputation. Diplomatic reputation will come out, uh, be very useful for getting people to join wars, although the favors are kind of required still. Um, just securing alliances and stuff. It'll, it'll help us to get the extra alliances that we might not have otherwise been able to obtain. One other thing we should probably do is take the time to look through our estates. Also, uh, do we want Urbino to even join our wars? We should definitely have them embargo our rivals. Um, an extra three troops. Yeah, I think we need them. We should take the time to look at our provinces and autonomy and stuff. We have none. Okay. Everyone controls an appropriate amount of land. The burgers currently have some. We're getting some trade efficiency from that. I think we want to probably want to do some of these interactions. Lose a little tiny bit of loyalty. It doesn't harm us, really. I think we lose some prestige. We grant monopolistic monopoly charters so that we gain extra loyalty and stuff. It's just generally speaking, uh, it's fine. You know, the prestige is minor. And I don't think we want to demand diplomatic support until we can get their influence a little bit higher. It's not very many points. Spend a little bit of money to gain loyalty. 
We have to demand 150 administrative points. That's really good. I think we want to act on this one right away. So for 20 years we lose loyalty. It's fine. We don't need that other stuff. Stability cost, papal influence, devotion. We don't need those things yet. But we don't want to bump their influence any higher. Seek support of the clergy costs us devotion as well. That's fine. I think we sacrifice another 5 prestige to up these guys' numbers as well. Even though they're just barely not high enough to have the, uh, the slightly higher influence to get the 20% manpower recovery speed. And if we could get them a little bit higher, we could actually get 150 military points as well. Speaking of points, I think we do want to focus probably... I think we don't focus at all. I think we, we want to get our first... Uh, I think we want to get our first couple tech ups before we worry about it. We don't need better relations over time. More diplomatic reputation for alliances would be good. Trade efficiency? Not so much. We don't make very much money off trade. 1.88 ducats. It's a small percentage of our total income. It's like, what? What is it? 25%? 24. It could go a long way. Spy offense, on the other hand, could save us some aggressive expansion in the long run. I think we take Diplo Rep. Okay, cool. Well, we'll take a break here. Um, you know, this is going to be a long campaign. I'm not going to upload too many of these videos every single day because I don't want to burn anyone out on it. We're going to take our time. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to have marches. It's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, if you want to show your support by clicking the like button, feel free to do that. If not, that's fine too. Thank you as always for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. See you soon.